If you are looking for everything there is to know about Airtel's latest ODU, the ZCE G5F and latest IDU, the ZCE MF296A, you are definitely in the right place. Be sure to take note of everything we discuss here today. First things first, do not attempt to buy this device if you are not satisfied with the overall quality of the Airtel network around your house. The device is not a magic trick, it simply amplifies what you already have. For things 5000 Naira, we get the ODU and IDU in the box along with every single thing the installer needs to install it in your house. That's right, Airtel makes it mandatory for an installer to be the one to bring the device and mount it outdoors and indoors in your house. At least that's how it was in Abuja. The plans are similar to MTN's Fiber X. We have 25,000 and 45,000 for 50 and 100 megabits plans respectively. To change the Wi-Fi's SSID and password, we do that by focusing on the indoor units, go to the router address which is pasted on the indoor units and go on it after connecting to the router and you'll find where you need to change the SSID and password just like I'm doing right here. Of course, after doing that, you have to reconnect with the new password. The ODU supports from 3G to 5G NSA and SA through either sub-6 or millimeter wave. It has powerful antennas that are also AI enhanced with Wi-Fi 7 or 802.11BE. Now, if you want to configure the device, that is, change the network settings, the 3G, 4G, 5G, also change stuff like the access points, names, and code, you have to focus on the ODU itself. The ODU has its own different router address. That's right, different from the IDUs. So check the ODU, you'll see the router address connect and then go to that particular router address and you'll find every kind of customization you can think about including turning those lights that appear on the ODU on and off. Yeah, you can do that. You can choose when to restart the ODU. You can choose practically every single setting you're looking for besides changing the Wi-Fi's SSID and password. Of course, you have to do that with the IDU like I said before. And one thing you need to note is if you want to adjust the APN to so any custom one you're thinking about, I wouldn't recommend that. But if for any reason you have to do that, make sure you use IPv6, not IPv4. IPv6, I observe that that's the only condition that even makes the APN work. Otherwise, the APN you try to put would not work at all. For speed tests, this is how fast the ODU is over Wi Fi 5 for 4G plus and for 5G. Let's also take a moment in Call of Duty Mobile to see the latency for like 20 seconds in a multiplayer ranked match. Enemy in the oh, the lead. Lead. Of course, these results only apply in my area. It's obviously going to be either better, the same, or worse in your own area. So, since it's a 50 megabits per second plan, I'm quite okay with 4G Plus. Yeah, it seems to have a better upload speed in my home. And also, upload speeds are key to my workflow as a content creator. It also still gives me the download speed up to 50 megabits per second. And then it saves the power of the UPS because it's 4G. Of course, 5G will kill the power a lot faster. Everyone knows that. Speaking of that UPS, it's a 10,000 mAh UPS that looks like some kind of decoder. Yeah, it looks a lot different from what we have on the ZLT. And it's also very complicated for those of you that are already thinking of how to use like your own personal power bank to power the ODU and IDU when the main power bank that comes with it dies. One crazy thing is that the power adapter, that's the one that goes into the wall socket that comes with it, it has a slightly smaller port 
than what we are used to so you can't easily plug it through the ups yeah look at this in the previous odu ether was given about three weeks to a month ago that's the zlt you know this is zte the previous one was zlt that one came with a kind of power system where we still had that power bank you guys are used to that zlt power bank that's like a white little box exactly so that one was a lot easier and very familiar to do it i mean if you want to use a power bank on it your personal power bank all you needed was a 12 volt converter usb to dc cable someone tried it on tiktok with the zlt odu and it worked i also tried it myself on the zlt 5g smart box of course it works there as well but then the funny thing is that this new zte odu has a kind of ups whereby the ups outputs dc to dc that's regular dc port to the indoor units and then it also outputs a kind of power via the ethernet cable that's like the long cable that connects to the outdoor unit from outside so it's quite tricky if you're wondering how the outdoor unit is powered it's powered via something called poe or power over ethernet it's a system where with a single cable you can receive the data from the outdoor units to the indoor units and then you can also power the same outdoor units via that one cable how it works is that the cable that hooks up your ODU to the indoor units through that UPS the cable takes 48 volts 0.3 amps making around 15 watts it takes that power to the outdoor units and then it takes receives back the signal the network signal from that same outdoor unit and passes it through another LAN port that one is just signal no power that LAN port sends the network to the indoor unit which is where you connect to its wi-fi to browse so you can see imagine trying to power that to the power bank obviously sounds complicated right anyways thanks to the crazy people like me I am still working on an alternative. I know there has to be a way to power that thing. I can't just accept defeat from Ethel like that. So I'm going to let you guys know if any updates come regarding that because you guys will definitely need that if there is a way around it. So be sure to subscribe to my channel to keep up because definitely I'm going to drop the updates whether it worked or didn't work. I've already ordered some parts to use for that experiment in the meantime. Also, let me know if you have any questions regarding the outdoor units and I'll be happy to help.